Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. Um, a friend of mine took my advice from a YouTube video and changed his coax from RG8X to LMR400. Um, when he did that, the SWR at 20 meters went up. So why is it? Why is it that when he replaced the coax, uh, RG8X, with LMR400, why would the SWR go higher? Wouldn't it go lower? Let's see if we can figure that out. I've got approximately um, 100 feet of RG8X and 100 feet, if I can point to it here, of LMR400. And I put in two switches so I can switch from one coax cable to another. It's feeding a dummy load with a light bulb and I've set that up so that the impedance of the dummy load is not 50 ohms. And I'm going to transmit into that using a remote control of for the uh, Yesu FTDX 101D. And I'm going to set that at 100 watts. And let's look at the uh, uh, remote control and we can look at the SWR on the remote control device uh, and see what's going on. So let me bring that onto the screen. Okay, so that's uh, the remote control device. Let's turn on the ASU. And it's on 20 meters at 14. Uh, it's on uh, 14.180. And the, the push to talk is down here. I'm set for FM. And the SWR meter is up here in the corner. Um, let's transmit with the um, RG8X is the way I've got it switched. So here we go. The SWR with the RG8X is about 1.3 to 1. And I'll switch over to the... Um, LMR 400 that's coiled up. Okay, here goes the LMR 400 and let's, let's look at the SWR. The SWR is about 1.7 to 1. So the SWR went from about 1.3 to 1.7. So why is that? I'll go back to the uh, RG8X. And there's the RG8X. In both cases, it's putting out uh, 100 watts. And most of that is getting to uh, my dummy load. Why is that happening? Why would the SWR go up? Well, the answer is in part uh, velocity factor, but we'll talk about that another time. Uh, one of the simple answers is the loss in the coax. Just about any wire or cable has some kind of loss per foot. In the case of RG8X and LMR400, we can look it up on a table or an online calculator like a KV5R. And what we're finding is the power that is being reflected back to the transmitter, the source, is being reduced by the RG8X because it has greater loss per foot. So some of the power that's going out is coming back and as it comes back it's attenuated and it, as it makes that trip back and forth over and over again um, it's attenuated and it looks like the SWR is better than it is. If we switch to the LMR400 the loss is much less so the reflected power appears to be greater because it's not being lost or turned to heat in the coax. So that's the simple answer. RG8X has more loss, so the SWR, the reflected power, appears to be lower. With LMR400, the reflected power is greater because it's not lost in the coax. If we were to switch to something that's completely lossless, like uh, 
ladder line, we'd probably say, see uh, an SWR closer to two to one, which is the way I set it up. So that's the answer. It's in part the velocity factor and where the uh, voltage is high and low. Uh, in both the coaxes, one might be higher than the other. Uh, but the more important thing to look at is just the straight loss in the coax. It's much greater in the RG8X compared to the LMR400. So that's the answer to my uh, friend's question is what, why would that go up? And it has to do with the loss. The LMR400 is showing a more accurate picture of what's, uh, what's happening at the feed point. I think uh, that's an interesting question to ask and one that uh, is not so hard to demonstrate. So um, I enjoyed setting it up and putting the switches on the coax and being able to switch back and forth. If you have any questions, questions uh, post them below. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do that. If you'd like to contribute to Patreon, uh, it's in the, uh, in the description. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California saying 73.